YouTube, this is Vargas, uh, recording from the Vargas Vault, with a comic book pickup video. Like I promised, uh, I was going to do a comic book pickup video as soon as I went to the comic shop, which I did. As you probably saw in that video I posted uh, on our trip to the Dollar Tree and the comic shop and Movie Street Bazaar. So here it is, the comic book pickup video. Uh, mostly DC, I uh, like I mentioned DC is the cheapest stuff that I can take out so the books are only $2.99 with a few exceptions I'm gonna mention and uh, I cleared out uh, all DC um, and Wolverine stuff I left behind unfortunately uh, everything Simpsons X-Men uh, Star Wars and Spider-Man so uh, next time I'm able to save up some money I'll go and I'll pick those up but first off we have Action Comics issue 985 only human part one I haven't read these actually. Uh, I just got here, so I need to read these. Uh, then picked up Only Human Nine. Uh, I'm sorry, Action Comics uh, 986. Lex Luthor there, and then we have this one, which is a lenticular cover. It's a gimmick cover, but it it's still pretty cool. Uh, did not cost me five ninety nine. Uh, cost me three ninety nine. That's pretty cool. Uh, but this one, they're building up to the whole thing with uh, Superman and uh, the DC Universe against the Watchmen and Doctor Manhattan. And uh, I need to read this to see if Doctor Oz. The, it's not Doctor Oz. <laughs> the theory about Oz uh, that's been messing with everyone in the uh, Superman family is that it might be awesome on Diaz, but uh, we'll have to s read this book and uh, all the other parts of the Oz effect to see if that is the case. But we'll see. Then I picked up uh, Batman issue 25, the first part of the War of Jokes and Riddles, which pits the Riddler against the Joker. Then I over, uh, on the last trip I got 26 and 27, so this is 28. Really cool cover there with the Joker and the Riddler. Then issue 29, you have everyone on one side and everyone on the other side, and Batman stuck in the middle. Continues uh, with issue 30. So I'm really digging, I, I've mentioned this before, I dig Batman, he's my number one favorite DC character, but uh, Snyder's run was pretty cool, but King's run is also uh, building up to something really, really special, so this has been a good run too. Then we have uh, Dark Knight's Metal, I left this one behind, It has, uh, I don't know if it'll be able to pick up on it because of the glare of the bag, but uh, this is a... Uh, the DC event of this year, uh, besides the uh, Watchmen thing that's going to happen, uh, this book basically uh, is a Justice League book, and uh, it has I don't know if you can make out the uh, the metal the metal sign there. That's pretty much what this is, but it's basically the DC universe against uh, the Dark universe uh, that's comprised of a bunch of uh, evil Batman's. So you have a Batman that uh, has the Speed Force, so he's like the Flash Batman. Then a Batman that got the Green Lantern ring, uh, and a bunch of other Batmans. But they're evil, so the uh, the Justice League have to deal with uh, a league of evil Batman. So that's very cool. And then you have issue two, also shiny metal cover. And Swamp Thing is is uh, in this, so. That's another reason to pick it up, because anything that has to do with Swampy is awesome in my book. Uh, left these behind for a long, long time, because they're uh, kind of expensive. Uh, finally, ha I had to get them out of my file, because they're the most expensive books. They've been there for at least three months. And these are the last two issues of uh, Dark Knight 3, The Master Race. This series took uh, its sweet-ass time to actually finish. Uh, and once it did, I, I took my sweet ass time to actually buy them, but uh, these were okay, uh, better than uh, the second one. Dark Knight 3 was a more uh, readable 
Uh, but they, they, they still completely ruined everything that happened in, in the first Dark Knight Returns. Uh, but, you know, as it's still better than the second one, but nowhere near as good as the first one. Then we have Justice League issue 25 and the anniversary issue. This evil awaken. It's pretty cool. And I'm interested in this. Uh, this is Justice League 26, and it features the children of the Justice League of the future. So you have a Flash, uh, you have what looks like a cyborg, uh, looks like a Superman Wonder Woman, uh, maybe an Aquaman, uh, Green Arrow maybe, and uh, Green Lantern. So this is, uh, I'm, I'm a sucker for time travel stories, even though this, this does seem a lot like copying something that Marvel already did with the children of the Avengers, but uh, this looks promising. And then we have issue 27, which has the League against their children. And then you have issue 28. Aquaman is back from the future, and he's taking no prisoners. So, this is promises to be an interesting read. Then we have issue 25, which I left behind the last time, because it's a 399 book. Uh, the one where Manchester Black takes control of John Kent, and put, pits him against uh, his dad. So, really, really need to read this. Then I picked up 26 and 27, and this is 28. Uh, Superman and the family uh, go uh, visit historical uh, landmarks, do, you know, to get Ke uh, John to uh, learn more about uh, the country. And you have issue 29, which I don't know what this is, but uh, the cover is amazing with Superman as a... Uh, Sinestro Corps member. This is interesting. I need to read this. And then you have issue 30, which continues that. So this is pretty cool. I'm digging what they're doing with the Superman books. Then uh, the Marvel books I did pick up is Wolverine, because Wolverine is my number one favorite Marvel character. And this is uh, only Wolverine. I love the fact that they made uh, Laura X-23 a legacy character. Uh, they killed off the original Wolverine, and then she, the daughter of Wolverine, picks up the name and the mantle of Wolverine. So this, this choice, I'm A-OK, -okay. I've mentioned this before. Uh, it, uh, I haven't read the issue, but it appears she's going against the Guardians of the Galaxy. Then you have issue 23, where uh, she is going up against the Brood, which are a long-running X-Men uh, villain. They're... They're kind of like the Xenomorphs, uh, they infect people with a parasitic embryo, and then when the embryo bursts, uh, it uh, assumes the powers of any superpowered being that, that was infected. So, uh, yeah, the only difference is that the Xenomorphs don't talk and the Brood do, so, but it's basically the same thing. And then you have issue 24, beautiful cover there. And uh, next issue is 25, so it's going to be an anniversary issue. I skipped the Legacy book with uh, only Wolverine and Wolverine. Uh, I'm, I'm not interested in that. Uh, but yeah. Then you have Old Man Logan, which is, it has been a really good book. A uh, really fun read. Uh, it's not quite the 616 Wolverine. It's uh, a different kind of Wolverine, older healing factors. Uh, messed up because he's an old man. Uh, but still, pretty cool. And this one, in this uh, series, he's going up against the Maestro and uh, whole kids to see he somehow spawned. Then you have 27. Really grim cover. And issue 28. Even more of a grim cover. Wolverine's killing off Hulk's. Then you have Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman 25, a uh, book I skipped before, finishing Greg Rooker's run on Wonder Woman. And uh, I wanted to give the new creative team a chance, so that's why I picked up 26, 27 last time, and this is 28, and 29, 
and lastly, 30. Uh, but I think I'm going to stop collecting Wonder Woman with issue 30. I think that's going to be, this is going to be the last one I'm going to pick up for Wonder Woman to cut back. Um, so yeah. And I picked up two True Believer comic books. Uh, picked up these uh, $1 books that Marvel has been pumping out for the last month. Uh, where they reprint uh, milestone issues in their long history. I picked up uh, the ones they did for Wolverine. Well, some of the ones they did for Wolverine. Uh, the one they did for Amazing Spider-Man number one. Uh, I picked this one up, The Mighty Thor. Uh, they're doing a Kirby 100th uh, birthday uh, celebration. So I picked up The Mighty Thor, which reprints Journey into Mystery with Thor's uh, first appearance as well as uh, Loki's first appearance. So I thought that was pretty cool for a buck. And lastly, picked this one up, which has uh, a battle between Thor and the Hulk. So, these are pretty cool. You know, if you try to hunt down the original books uh, for these two, they go for a pretty penny. But, you know, I just want to read the story, so for a buck, hell yeah, I'll, I'll pick these up. Uh, I don't know if they're going to do any more, or what character they might do in the future. But, uh, you know, you can't go wrong for a dollar. A dollar and you get a, gr a great old story. Uh, sign me up. Here's my dollar. I would waste a dollar in bubblegum. So why not, you know, buy something cool. So, yeah, like I said, I left behind everything X-Men, uh, Simpsons, uh, Star Wars, and um, Spider-Man. I really need to save some money and pick those up. So, only DC this time around. But, actually, I feel that DC is doing a better job lately than than Marvel with their non-stop special events. Because DC only has uh, metal right now, and Marvel had uh, the, the has had, like, a, a bunch of uh, specials in, what you know, September, and they've had a bunch of specials with, with, with what's in the year, so that kind of sucks. But this one... This one looks cool, and it's Batman. It's a Justice League against evil Batman, so that's pretty cool. Uh, like always, I like to recommend the standouts. Uh, if you're not reading Batman, why aren't you not reading Batman? Batman is always awesome. Uh, I recommend that. And uh, this uh, metal thing, because Swamp Thing is in it, and you can't go wrong with Swamp Thing, because uh, Swamp Thing is awesome. So, yeah. That's my recommendation. That's the comic book pickup video. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And until I see you all again, this is Vargas from the Vargas Vault. Thanking you all and signing out.